It's you. I prayed for your return. I heard what you did in Rookridge. I think you could be of great use to us. Come, walk with me a while. Now, nourishing the golden acorn is done with holy water from the well spring of light. But the spring is located in a nearby cave, which is said to be quite dangerous. Our sacred text says two monks must enter this cave, the strongest and a second of the abbot's choosing. Obviously this concerns me, especially since the strongest monk here is my own child. So instead of a second monk, I have chosen to send a protector for the first. And that's you, if you're interested. The cave is just at the end of this road. You probably passed it on your way here. Our strongest monk will be waiting for you when you're ready. Now then, I must gather the others and prepare for the blessing. Our first hero awaits us, even if they do not yet realize it. singing voice would bring the crowds. So you're my escort then? My father said you'd be coming by. Hey there, boy. Hello. Oh, you're a strong, handsome fellow, aren't you? I feel better having you with me in that cave. Yes, I will. I'm Sister Hannah. Some people call me Hammer when they think they're being clever. They're not. But I can't do much about it because monks make a solemn vow never to bash anyone's face in. Did my father mention that? Yeah. Whatever fighting's to be done in there, it's all yours. We require a hero, not a pacifist monk. We'll need her to find a reason to fight. I don't mind telling you, I'm a bit envious. You get all the excitement and I get to carry this bloody thing like some sort of mule. I mean, look at it. It's enormous. Golden or not, how much water does a bloody acorn need? After you. It's amazing when you think about it. No one else has been in here for maybe a hundred years? Well, no monks anyway. I guess an adventurer or two could have come in, but if they got out alive, I didn't hear about it. Hmm, anyway. Hey, don't you wander off now, boy. Stay with us where it's safe. They're lovely. I think. 
think they're called wisps. Souls of the dead who never left this world. It's actually rather sad, isn't it? You are a quiet one. Watch your step, doggy. Looks a bit steep here. Do you reckon we'll run into anything nasty in here? I mean, a dark, creepy cave is a hell of a place for a holy spring. Especially for an order of pacifists. You know, I've heard of monks in the north who believe that to transcend violence, you have to understand it first. So instead of praying, they train to fight all day. They think that's the path to inner peace. Sometimes I think, what if the bloke who founded the Temple of Light had believed that? Or what if I'd been adopted by the warrior monks instead of my dad? All right, this should be the central chamber. Wow, I've never seen anything like this, ever. Now, according to my father, we need to go through these three doors in order to collect the water. Putting weight on the pressure plates will open the doors. This one's the first. Now, there are two plates in this room. It'll take both of us to get the water flowing. I stand here so I can catch it. And you need to stand on that one. There it goes. Oh yeah, I can feel this thing getting even heavier. That's nice, that is. So far, this isn't too bad. A couple of steep bits, but that's it. I really hope they find someone else to do this next time. Mind you, I'll be an old lady by then, so I'm probably off the hook. You know, this is probably going to be the highlight of my life. The day I carried a jug through a cave. Hardly epic poem stuff, is it? Did you hear something? No. Probably just my imagination. Right, I reckon that's all the water. So we're gonna get from this one. Thank <laughs> you. 